Hey there everybody, Johnny B here with Johnny B Codes and in this lesson we are going to take a look at how to move data between Firebase projects. A couple of videos back I did a, a video on how to schedule Firestore backups using Cloud Functions and Google Cloud Storage. Uh, so I thought this would be a logical progression. So, so what we're going to be doing is looking at how to move data between two Firebase projects. I have two projects here. These are the projects that I'm using for, uh, for one of my courses. We have the Bon Voyage project and it has some files and some Cloud Firestore data. Got a number of documents in this vacations collection. And then we have the uh, Bon Voyage-Dev, which has uh, nothing in its Firestore. So if we take a look at this, uh, move data between projects, it's at this URL here, Firestore slash manage data, move data. Uh, you can just search for Firestore move data between projects and you'll find this. Uh, but it says here, this page describes how to use the managed import and export features to move Cloud Firestore data from one project to another. This can be useful for setting up a development environment or as part of permanently migrating an app to another project. So what we're gonna be doing is kind of this example, uh, setting up a development development environment. So sometimes what happens is you start building an app and you've made your Firebase project and you're adding a bunch of data and everything and then you realize, oh, we should probably at some point have a development environment as well. And it can be a pain to, you know, try to recreate all that. So that's what this can do. It can just uh, migrate all that data from your production project to your dev. So how do we do this? It says here, moving data between projects involves the following steps. Create a cloud storage bucket to hold the data from your source project. Export the data from your source project to the bucket. Give your destination project permission to read from the bucket and then import that data into your destination project. Now you may be asking, why are you doing a video on this if the documentation is right here and all you're doing is going through it? Well, sometimes documentation is still confusing. And even if it has all of the steps, it's just easier to also see someone go through it that's done it before and kind of have that hand-holding experience. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so before you begin, you have your two projects. Make sure that both of them are on a paid plan, on the Blaze plan. Um, and then you're gonna make, have to make sure that you have the correct permissions. Um, the way that I'm doing it here is, and the easiest way is if you're an owner of both of the Firebase projects. Uh, if you're not, then you're gonna have to grant some permissions and you can do that right here. Then it says here, we're gonna set up our G Cloud command line tool and we're just gonna use the Cloud Shell. So go ahead and click right here. Make sure that you are in your correct Google account that you expect for this Firebase project and say start Cloud Shell. All right, so that should take you to uh, this part right here. And again, make sure that you select the source Firebase project, the one that we are going to be transferring data from. And then also check down here that the Firebase IDs match. So I have this one right here and then this project ID here. So they match. If they don't, then you can use this uh, command right here, gcloud config set project, and then the project ID. All right, so we got the gcloud config set up. So let's see what the next step is. Export data from the source project. So we're gonna export your data by creating a cloud storage bucket for your Cloud Firestore export files and starting an export operation. We can do that from the cloud storage bucket in the same location as your Cloud Firestore database. So let's just go ahead and uh, click on this here. And we can create a storage bucket via the console. Pretty easy, we just click here. And then we can click on create bucket. Again, make sure you're in the correct project and we have to pick a globally unique permanent name, okay? So this has to be unique. I'm gonna say something like YouTube, um, Bon Voyage Backup, and say continue, and you can just pick the, the defaults for the rest of this is fine. Standard, continue, and create. Very good, now copy that path. And we're gonna go back to where we were. There we go. And then this is some more uh, permission stuff. We're good because I'm assuming that you are the owner of both projects. And we have here, um, 
If your app continues to write to your database while you perform an export operation, you might not capture all of those writes in your export files. So basically, if you wanna make sure that what you get in your export file is the exact same as what you have in it at the time that you click that button, then you should uh, disable write operations. So this is inside of your security rules, your Firestore security rules, you can just turn everything off. And then finally, we can begin an export operation. So we're gonna say uh, G Cloud Firestore export. All right, so here, a nice thing that they have here is you can say export all data and you can input the name of our source bucket, which we copied. So I'm gonna paste that there and just gonna make sure that that looks right, very good. And now that's going to kind of autofill that anywhere else that we need it. Um, so I'm gonna copy this code sample here, and then we're gonna come back over here where we had our cloud shell opened. Hmm, where did that go? All right, I'm going to come back up here again to the start cloud shell. I'm going to command click to open that in a new browser or a new uh, tab. And then I'm also going to open up our cloud storage bucket area. I'm just going to command click here to open that in another tab as well. Open the cloud storage browser. And let's, uh, let's look inside of our little bucket that we made a minute ago. So we got the YT Bon Voyage backup right here and you'll see that there is nothing in here right now. So coming back here to our, where we have our cloud shell here, um, again, make sure you have this copied right here to export all the data. If you wanna do specific collections, then you can uh, set that right here, but we're gonna do all of the data. I'm just going to paste that right here and say enter. Very good, looks like it's done. Um, let's come back to our bucket right here, refresh, and looky there, we have ourselves a folder that has um, some data inside of it, very cool. And what we have inside of that folder is all of the Firestore data that we see right here, this collection of vacation documents. All right, so we've exported our data from our source Firestore project to a storage bucket. Now we need to transfer that data from the source storage bucket to our destination storage bucket. And this used to be more complicated, but they've made it really easy now. Uh, so it says here, move data files to a local bucket, move your data files to another cloud storage bucket by following the steps in the moving and renaming buckets. So we can open that up. And what we have now is something called a, a transfer service. So it says here, you can use the the cloud storage transfer service from within Google Cloud Console. And you can just click on this button, open the transfer page, and here we go. So uh, it says transfer service. You can transfer data to your cloud storage buckets from Amazon Simple Storage Service, S3, HTTP servers, or other buckets. So I'm gonna create a transfer. And we're going to set our source. So coming back again to our bucket where did we have that right here okay so i'm gonna copy this so this is our source bucket so we're gonna say select source we're gonna paste that or you can browse if you're right there you can select it right here say select and then our destination and i think this is where a lot of people get tripped up here is because you might not realize that since these names are globally unique, you can just write it out right here. Some Most people will they'll click here and they'll be like, I, I do not see the bucket that I wanna transfer it to. And actually we haven't created the, the bucket for the, our destination, so we need to do that first. So we, you can leave this as is, but we're going to come over here to our creating storage buckets that we, that we were looking at, and we're gonna open cloud storage browser again. And this time we're going to go to our destination project. Um, so the dev environment for, for myself, I'm gonna select that. And then we're gonna create a new bucket. And I'm gonna give this the name of YouTube dash bon voyage dev transfer, I don't know. Um, and then we're gonna copy that and say continue, 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 and create. 
So now we have a bucket in our destination. So come back to your transfer tab and just paste that name of the destination storage bucket that we just created. And then you have some options down here. You can overwrite the destination with source, delete objects from the source when they are transferred, delete object from destination if there's no version in source. Um, I'm not gonna check any of those. And we're gonna say continue. And we're going to say run now and create. And this will just take a minute and then it'll, uh, once it's completed, it'll show the status as completed. So now we don't have, we don't have the data in our Firestore database yet, right? All we've done is move data from one storage bucket to another storage bucket. Now we need to import the data in the storage bucket into our dev cloud Firestore database. So let's see what we need to do for that. Here it says, begin an import operation. And you'll see here that this is the source storage bucket name. We want the destination storage bucket to be here. So we're going to replace that with what we have here. Copy this, come back here, click and paste. And then we have this export prefix. And this prefix matches the prefix in your export operations output URI prefix. So it gives an example here, um, this timestamp right here. And you'll see if you come over here to your storage bucket area, this right here is what that is referring to. So if you click here, and then you can, uh, kind of hard to copy just that. If I click on this, it's going to give us the whole thing, but that's okay. I'll uh, just uh, click here, paste, and then I'll just uh, go ahead and back up here and delete the first part. There we go. All right, so that is the path for our storage bucket with the data that we want to import. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that code sample. And then let's see here, where are we? We want to come here. So right now we are in the source project. I'm gonna switch to the destination dev project. And we might need to change our project. So you'll see here, gcloud config set project and then the project id you can find right here paste and now we are on the bon voyage develop project and now we can go ahead and paste this line of code right here to actually execute the firestore import from the backup that we got from the storage bucket in the source project so i'm going to copy that code sample and come back over here and just paste that in and run it. And we got an error, it says permission denied. Service account does not have access to Google Cloud storage file. Oh, okay, I think I think I got the wrong storage bucket right here. YT Bon Voyage backup. Yes, okay, sorry, this is the one that we want. The YT Bon Voyage dev transfer. Copy that, come back over here and we'll go ahead and paste that here. And now we need the prefix from the correct backup. And that is this right here. I'm gonna copy that, come back here and paste that and then get rid of the part that we already have. Say enter, copy, come back to our cloud shell and paste that. There we go. Processing. Let's uh, check out our Bon Voyage dev now. And, ooh, look at that. Where we had no data, now we have some data. The same data that we have in our production project over here. Very cool. All right, hopefully that wasn't too fast or too confusing. Uh, if it was, let me know. I will try again. But for now, this has been Johnny B, and I'll see you in the next one.